Mary Donnelly, MD's Jindal channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. to our virtual happy hour here at MD's Gym Mill Channel. We are live in St. John's, Michigan. Holy cow, and it is hot. It's been a long road on this tour. This is stop number seven along the way. We are in St. John's, Michigan. Like I said, that is 30 miles north of Lansing, Michigan, and 100 miles west of Detroit. This is also the mint capital of the world. Over 90% of the mint you guys are getting for your mojitos everywhere comes from right here. Big mint festival, everything cool. Anyways, before we get started, I just need a little shout out to all the people along the way that's helped us out because it has been a long 13 days. We still don't have air conditioning. We had air, then it stopped working. Our refrigerator broke, so we have to ice down our beer every two hours because of this heat. We don't have hot water because our heating element broke, so we take cold showers. So anyways, that's why they make beer and really good wine. Anyways, some awesome shout outs. Also, we had to stop in Gulfport, Mississippi. Forgive me if I look down, I don't have my notes behind me, but uh, TSI Diesel Works in Gulfport, Mississippi hooked us up. Here's the guys right here. They were amazing. They took about five hours, which probably would have taken two weeks, but we begged and we gave them a shout out and they got us back on the road. <sighs> that was crazy. Also the VIP smoke shop in Louisville, they hooked us up with some good cigars so our camera people here could have some cigars and some nice cops hanging out there along the way. Then I'll tell you what, Doug's Motor City Bar and Grill in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We stopped there for some burgers and they were awesome to us. Really, really good staff. And we'll go through the rest of that in a little bit. But in the meantime, let's bring Miss Judy Gannon in back in Florida, see what's going on. Hey, Judy. Hi. Greetings. What's going on? I haven't seen you in 13 days. I know. It's been a while. Well, I did uh, the Port St. Lucie Summerfest this weekend, and uh, boy, would you have had fun with us on that one. I saw it was, some pictures. It was uh, free beer, free wine, and free whiskey. <laughs> Why was it all free? Well, I mean, it was a $50 ticket to get in, oh. and it was samplings at all of the different places, so it was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh. Yes, it, and you know, I'm not a whiskey drinker, but I did have this whiskey that was a maple bacon whiskey. Oh my God. Uh, do you know who makes that? I've heard of it. I, I cannot remember, but I have a picture of the bottle somewhere. I'll have to show you. That is awesome. I tell you, I feel like it's been forever. I am, like I said, I'm in the mint capital of the world. I know you are. They make mint everything. It smells like mint. It's delicious. Look at this adorable picture. This is in downtown St. John's. Mint City. That's the tagline, I guess. Okay. Nice. And there's an adorable little picture of the town. It's so cute. It's like what you think a small town would look like. It's just adorable. It's really cute. Absolutely. And we actually had lunch at uh, Swaney's. Am I saying that right, you guys? Swaney's. I'm so, so sorry. I got some people <laughs> with me. In the tour bus, so they're helping me out. But Swan good, good. <laughs> and our bartender Sam and Dana, the owner, were so super cool. They gave me a shirt. They made me the most amazing chicken salad, and the burgers were so good. I don't nice. Want, I'm not saying much about you know burgers, 
because the gin mill burger, but these burgers were really, really good too. Did you have anything with mint in it? No, actually it doesn't get harvested till the end of the summer. Okay. So I'm kind of missing out on it, but it's still, it's still great. Really good. Nice. So we, um, we actually just got approved on the fraternal order of bartenders and the three different bartender Facebook groups, because it takes days for their moderators to let your post get it put in, right? Yeah. We just got approved this morning and we have had a flood of comments. <laughs> People are telling us to go everywhere. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna try to go as many places as we can that's awesome. And visit people. There's also a screwball whiskey truck or van or RV out there doing the same thing we're doing. And we touch base with them. So hopefully we can hook up and have some, what did we make? The peanut butter and jelly shots, remember? Yes. Yeah. So that's cool. Really cool. But in the meantime, I don't know if you've been following along, but you know, I went to Jack Daniels Distillery. I did. I saw that. I actually never really drink Jack, but we had a nice flight tasting and we had a real good tour guide. Uh, Anthony was his name. And there's me taking a, a sip out of my flight. And you can see that my partner in crime here reached over and drank all my Jack honey. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> just just a little swishel. <laughs> swishel, yeah. That was cool. And then um, after Jack Daniels, we moved on to, well, we stopped in uh, the Motor City Bar and Grill. And then we moved on to Louisville. Okay. And we toured the Bourbon District. Nice. Memphis. Was it Memphis? It was Louisville. No, we didn't. People are confused in this bus. It was somewhere. Day 13, you know? But yeah, we went there and there was this really cool. We talked to we went to this bar called O'Shea's and it. OK, there was a really cool story that the bartender told us. The Ohio River runs right along the downtown area there. And back way back when they would make all the bourbon and the whiskeys upstairs. It was like three stories on the, the front of the building and one story in the back of the building because they would make it and they'd roll it down these like chutes and dump it into the Ohio River, and then they would get aboard a boat and go down to, like, they call their best client in the world, New Orleans. Huh. So that was really cool. It was an old building. It was called the Whiskey Cellar in the basement where we went, and I had my first new fashion, not an old fashion, a new fashion. A new fashion? Yeah, they had the elderflower, and they used the Angel's Envy, and just uh, a really nice bitters in there too. That was delicious. Nice. Yeah, so that was fun. Then I said, okay, tell me, where do the bartenders go? Yes. So they took me over to the Third Street Dive Bar. That's the name of it. And this, okay. this is Devon, our bartender. He was awesome. So we hung out there and you know, it's because you, you got to go where the bartenders go. Yeah, they even have the Batmobile on the wall. Nice. Yeah, really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, wherever the bartenders go, that's where I want to be. Yeah. But I learned some things along the way. And our girl, Amanda, maybe she should have told me this. But in Indiana, you can't buy cold beer in a convenience store. Is it a dry county? No. It's just weird. Oh. Just weird. Just I weird. Said, I don't want to put this hot beer in my cooler because it's all I got for this ice and it's getting expensive, you know? They said, yeah. You can't buy cold beer at a convenience store. That's crazy. I can't imagine why that would be. Maybe because they don't want you drinking it on the way, the ride back. <laughs> That's what I thought too. But I learned that. I learned some stuff, but check this out. I'm not sure if I have a picture of this or not, but did you hear about that really big tip in New Hampshire? Yes. 16 G's. Oh my gosh. And I guess the big controversy is that the owner made them split it amongst the staff. Okay. I mean, 
sixteen thousand dollars. Why not split that up? I mean, do you really need to be that greedy? I know, right? Split What's up. the problem? I mean, maybe that's their policy also to begin with. I don't know, but it's just causing a controversy all over the place. That's crazy. I know. So dumb. So stupid. Then we stopped by Guy Fieri's uh, restaurant. It's called Fourth Street Live. It's an area down in Louisville, like, you know, like covered up, kind of like Fremont Street in Vegas. Okay. So we stopped by to say hi to Guy, but, you know, he wasn't there. He's, that's probably because he's here. <laughs> <laughs> and a shout out to the kitchen staff, you guys. You made me the best brisket. It was my first time, and I will definitely do that again. Thank you to the kitchen staff at Guy Fieri's Smokehouse Restaurant in Louisville. Nice. So, totally cool. So, basically, that's what we're doing. And I tell you, this is, this is tiring. I Well, maybe if you had air conditioning, you wouldn't be as tired because you'd be able to rest a little. <laughs> Cool down. <laughs> well, you know, it's okay. Because these black couches in here, you just stick to them with your sweat, you know? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have the cold shower, so hey, whatever. Hey, working it out. <laughs> but, okay, so here is the story I can't wait to tell you. So, we're driving, driving along Route something something in Mississippi, Okay. Okay. And this white truck comes zoom right in front of the bus, stops. This guy gets out. He's, rah, 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 rah. I could hear him. So <laughs> I walk down and him and the camera guy, they're arguing and talking. I'm like, arguing? But it turns out they were just having a good time. His name was Homer. And I have a picture of Homer and me. And guess what? He was watching what? our show from his phone as we drove by him. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe How cool is that? He goes, he's like, look in. He's like, oh my God. So he zoomed. He came over. We said, hi, we took a picture. And he said, I, I said, do, you, do I know you? Do, does Judy know you? Anything? He said, no, I just watch a lot of YouTube and I came across you guys' show and I watch you every Monday. So hi, Homer. Hi. Thank you for <laughs> watching. Give us a comment, you guys. Homer, tell me that you're watching. I want to say hi. Don't watch while you're driving, though. Be careful. <laughs> I think he was pulled over. I don't know. But also, I went to the opening of White Limousine in Nashville, which is Dolly Parton's brand new rooftop bar that we talked about last week. Yes, I saw that you went there. Let me tell you. Any guys out there watching, if you're single and you want to mingle with the women go there. There you go. There were the most beautiful packs of women everywhere. I'm talking <laughs> packs, like eight to 10 in a group, beautiful clothes, bags, purses, hair, beautiful women. Nice. Oh, uh, hi, Miss. You're in North Carolina, aren't you? Or South Carolina or Georgia. But we're coming through. We'll see you. So yeah, that was amazing. Nashville was, I was there my first time and uh, thank you for watching. But that's my first time and I have to tell you, what a town. Nice. It was, uh, holy cow. It was like, it was like freshman year college meets adult like city of people just drunk and running around like crazy freaks. North Carolina. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I remember it. <laughs> so that was cool. We went to a couple places there. That was that was really fun. I just uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, check out this picture of the inside of Swanee's Bar here in Michigan. It's built in 1939, and the owner was telling me that when she acquired the bar, that this back bar was there, and I guess some antique appraisers have come in and told her it's worth some cash. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Nice. So I can't wait. Winston Salem. We will be going through there, I think. It just depends. Now, how many how many more days are you in Michigan? We're out tomorrow. Oh, so you're not going to go to Mackinac Island? No, I thought it was closer, but I believe it's about five hours north of where we are. Three hours. Oh, north. okay. 
They're telling me three, three hours north, and we just we're on limited time, so gotta get. It's Ohio next, so whoever's watching, it's Ohio next, then Niagara Falls, Buffalo, Rochester, Long Island, Hamptons, and then back down. Well, make sure you stop and see our friends in Ohio. Oh, absolutely. That's on. The, that's on. What's the name of the uh, Sandus San Sandusky, Ohio? I guess that's oh. a stop that we're going to be doing. So I'm learning. I've been learning a lot. You guys, you have to remember a couple things that we are all so fortunate. We don't even we don't even know how fortunate we are because I've been to some places that they just they're repressed and they hit you here in Michigan. They just opened up 100 percent four days ago. Wow. They just ripped that mask off four days ago. I mean, I, I can't even imagine in this heat. Can you imagine having that mask on? Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. But you know, you guys just think about how lucky we <coughs> are because it really, it, it's, it's amazing. There's a lot of things out there. When we were in Mississippi, they were just, they had, you know, and then there was another hurricane while we were there. Oh my gosh. You know, Go to Toledo and get a mod from Tony Pacos. Okay, Toledo's in Ohio. I can put that on the list. What's a mod? <laughs> Judy, do you know what a mod is? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ooh, it's warm. Well, that's really all we got. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Tune in. I know I'm blasting up your uh, social media whatever's with all my posts, but this is our route again. So anybody let me know where you're going. Hopefully we can meet up with the screwball whiskey van and really have a party. Cause uh, that would be a good party. <laughs> oh, the mod mother of all dogs. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Also, if you are in Southeast Florida where bogeys and stogies is located, Oh, and the best hot dog you'll ever have. Okay. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> Got it. Don't forget. It us a few. Don't forget the Buffalo Bills Miami Dolphin game. We have a bus trip going down. It is September 19th. Tickets are almost sold out. Wow. So get your tails over to Bogies and Stogies in Port St. Lucie and buy your tickets today. And just because she's a Buffalo fan, she won't kick you off the bus for wearing Dolphins gear. <laughs> I will not, because you know what? May the best team win. Notice my necklace. It's Dolphins. Oh, but she still wants the Bills to win. I do. But, you know, it's my hometown <laughs> now. So, you know. Of course. But that's about it. So, you know, thank you to everybody that we've met along the way. And thank you so much to our sponsors, Exchange of America. KG Pro Renovations, obviously Bogies and Stogies, and the Gin Mill Fort Pierce. And I got to run across the street here into Swaney's and Swanee's and get me a nice cold beer. Nice, nice. And right across the street is a bar called the Alibi. Remember Shameless? Yes. It's called the Alibi. I'm going to check it oh out. Oh my gosh. You got to go check that one out. <laughs> I'll be Maybe I'll do a live video in there. We'll see. But so, again, thank you to everybody, especially our sponsors, and to you, Judy, thank you so much, and our bus driver and camera people and everybody helping us out. Thank you, and we'll see you really soon, and cheers. Cheers, everyone. Have a great day. <laughs>